So, right. So when you start running ads on Facebook, okay, you will be able to have, uh, this is a very basic column. So if you go into that, right, your performance column is usually your default column, right, which you will be able to see like your bid strategy, your budget, your last significant change, right, and your attribution setting, your results, like how many purchase you get, your reach impressions, your cost per result, you know, amount spent and stuff. These are all basic ones. Now, a lot of people would actually look at this. They'll be looking at, ah, the cost per result is coming up. You know, this is ridiculous. So past one week, it's not working. So most of, most, most of the time, what do you do? When it comes to this kind of stuff, when you see your cost coming up, a lot of people will be like, mm, I think the ad stopped working. They will have this concept where I think it's time for me to revisit the content, either to look at the creative again, or I want to start looking at the audience targeting again. So they go back to the drawing board again, they scramble everything, they start from scratch, and then they wait. So what usually happens is the moment you start a new campaign, you usually start a new campaign instead of starting as a new ad set. So what's going to happen is you're, gonna, you're just going to just throw away whatever learning that you have achieved for the previous campaign in the past. See, so here's what I want to actually probably give you an idea. When you see your cost comes up, the first thing you want to look into is to bring up the CPM. Now, how do we bring up some of the numbers? You come in here, okay, you click on this columns performance, you go all the way down, then you're able to get these customized columns. Okay, so when you're in your customized columns, I'm waiting for it to come up. Over here, right, as you can see, there will be a lot of different metrics and some somebody actually get excited about this. They will be like, wow, this is like a whole new world. You know, I have so much data. Now, here's the thing. You want to look at the right data instead of just scramble on every single damn data available. Because the more you, you bring in a lot more into the table, on, or, I mean to the table, the more complicated it gets. The harder it is for you to actually kind of like really nail down to the meaningful data that is really important for you. So the first one, we will definitely look at the CPM. So let's, let's quickly pull out CPM, All right? So yeah, all right, so when, when we pull out CPM, it will come out here, right? Then you have this, uh, let's say you know that for this broad targeting, so the CPM is 26 ringgit over here. I mean, I'm actually using ringgit, I'm in Malaysia. So if the first thing first I want you to look into here is if your cost is coming up, you want to check whether is that CPM that is causing. So how do we check? We usually use seven days as a block. Don't go for like, this is another mistake a lot of people make. Whenever they are running ads, right, they always look at daily. So if one day they are not doing well, they'll be like, well, very, very worried. You know, if it happens another day that is still not doing well, they'll be like, come on, man, this is really not going anywhere. I'm going to kill the campaign. I'm going to scramble. I'm going to restart the whole thing. I'm going to just, whatever it is, right? So this is, this is a common mistake a lot of people make, and I don't want you to go into that. So when the cost is coming up, when you're monitoring data, I want you to look at the whole situation in a more objective way, okay? How to be objective? Very simple. You don't look at one day or two day or three day data change. You get what I mean? Instead, you look at a seven day block. So I want you to actually keep a seven day data, let's say Monday to Sunday. So in the previous Monday to Sunday, I want you to look at the average, the cost, the, I mean the average cost and the average CPM and all that. You have a better idea because you don't jump on things when there is a downtime for one day or two because most of the time, it is actually because of the periodical change like we have 8-8 eight, eight coming up and all that, you know, uh, that is really stirring the situation that is causing the campaign to stop performing. But it's really not the ad itself because you just imagine, right? You have been running this ad for two weeks or three, for example, all right? It has been doing well. But just because of one or two days, it stopped working, then you just kill it. What are you doing here? You're actually throwing away the past result that this campaign has generated for you. It is working. It has been working for weeks, if not months. And just because of a day or two, you kill it. I, think, I don't think this is a very fair thing to do. So I want you to be very objective. Let's look at the seven days. So if the seven days, the data, if you look at it, like let's say, you know, like these seven days and versus the past seven days, there are certain fluctuation, but it's okay. It's not that bad. You know, we can still endure it a little bit. We can still keep it going for a little bit, you know? So then you also have to analyze, let's say 
for the eight eight week or nine nine week, the cost come out is because of that. So you know that okay, this is really something that we need to pull through. You know, it's kind of like a really fluctuation uh, that is caused by the environment because it's a demand and supply environment on you know in, in inside the Facebook ads. The more competitors coming in, meaning that the more money being thrown into the Facebook ads market, um, the higher the cost gets. It's a very simple equation. So that's the first thing I want you to look into. Really keep a close eye on your CPM. So this is where I will go in with you on your campaign to do the exercise that we did on one campaign. One campaign. So if you have two-step funnel, then of course we look at the overall T1, T2. If you're not, then we will go in and look at one campaign. So based on that one campaign, I'm going to dissect, I'm going to actually tell you what did you do right or wrong on your Facebook ads campaign. And I'm going to give you actionable insights like how I show you just now. Immediately, I can tell you, okay, this is not, this is not doing well. This is the number that is really going, not going anywhere. We need to fix this. So this is a one-on-one Facebook ads audit. 